This setup, at least the parts that I can see, looks pretty. But what's inside of this setup? Applied? Windows 11? Why would you install Windows 11? Hello world, I'm Zanid and welcome to another video where I review your hacking setups. So let's just dive right into it and see what you submitted this time to the Discord server. But first a comment from the community, this time from Discord. Virulens said, I feel like if we meet up, it would have to be in the basement of an abandoned building filled with computers and televisions with graffiti covering the walls. First off, we have this setup sent in by Nortank12. This setup, at least the parts that I can see, looks pretty nice. nice. We've got some RGB with some light up keyboard over here. And the most important thing that you need in every hacking setup is of course, the Discord server of this channel is open right here. But what's inside of this setup? Let's take a quick look. We have a main monitor with a laptop liquid metal paste applied. Uh? I have no idea what this means. So if you know what this here means, please let me know down in the comments below. We have an i7 8th gen. It has six cores, a GTX 10. 50, 16 gigs of RAM, an M.2 SSD and a normal old school style SSD. Windows 11, why would you install Windows 11? From what I've seen, it's still a bit buggy. Then we have Kali via the VSL. I guess you can do it like that. But the specs look like it's a pretty solid hacking setup. Enough RAM to even run one or two virtual machines. And you have some fast storage. I'm assuming that's for the things you usually need. And then a bigger storage for your documents. But let's be honest, you're probably using it for games, aren't you? The keyboard has Cherry MX brown switches. I'm not that huge a fan of the brown switches. They kind of are a little soggy. I have blue switches. Whatever works for you. The next one is from Dreamcat04, which I sadly missed in the last video. This is what his setup looks like. A dual monitor setup with a tower PC. It looks pretty nice with the RGB lights going on here in the background. I'm not sure if that's a light or a boom arm like this one. I'm assuming it's a light. And then we have a couple of things in here. As I always say, and Elon Musk says that as well. A real engineer has a messy desk. I'm not gonna show you my desk right now. Why do you think I'm using a green screen? And the specs are an Intel Core i7 9th gen, an RTX 2060 with 6 gigs, 500 gig M2 SSD, a 2 terabyte HDD, and the CPU is cooled by this thing over here. It's a Shadow Rock LP, supposedly quiet. I mean, the company is called Be Quiet, but let's be honest, they're not always that quiet. And maybe water cooled would be quiet more quiet there is a USB-C docking station that he also can use for his gaming laptop that's pretty nice that's pretty sick amazing stats you have a lot of storage in here you can have as many virtual machines as you like and even run them almost all simultaneously I don't think I see the RAM but I'm assuming that you have a lot of RAM too let me know down in the comments or on the discord server if you have a lot of RAM Dreamcat 04 and Let's take a look at your second thing. Now, INEE is the learning platform from eLearn Security themselves, and they provide a ton of courses like cybersecurity courses, coding courses, cloud courses, everything that you want to learn about computer science, you can do this on their platform. As soon as you sign up for one of their premium plans, you even get a 50% discount on your next exam voucher. And they have been a huge help to pass my ECPPT v2 exam. Head over to the link that you're seeing popping up over here on screen and sign up for an INEE premium subscription today so you can learn about hacking and get certified. <laughs> which is the gaming laptop with an Intel Core i7 10th gen, 16 gigs of RAM, a GTX 1660 Ti, 1TB of M2 storage and of course a 144Hz display. After all, it's a gaming laptop 
and gaming laptops are really performant let's take a look at this video what are you trying to show me now we can see some fancy rgb and of course it's windows so what is windows gonna do of course update the next one comes from these two Japanese symbols. The setup looks kinda old school. I'm not sure. It's an MSI Pulse GL66 gaming laptop bought on Amazon. Intel Core i5, the first i5. Everybody else had an i7. 8 gigs of RAM. Now that may be a tad bit too little RAM. I have no idea how to English right now. But I'm sure you can run at least one virtual machine maybe two really weak ones depending on the processor but let's be honest in most cases you're gonna use one virtual machine so it looks like this is gonna work out for you just fine you have an hd display which is also nice the graphic cards is like one of the newest one how did you even get this aren't they all out of stock a logitech keyboard with a us layout a rock cut cone pure ultra stolen from walmart why would you announce that to the internet the office chair was found next to a homeless shelter and then an ipad fifth gen which you got as a gift from your mother on the 14th birthday the year is 2017 now we also know your age thank you very much you're 19 now we have deleted user i'm not gonna read the entire name you have a lenovo idea pad laptop an i5 16 gigs of ram and the graphics card so i see a lot of you have gotten some laptops that's actually good for hacking because you can do stuff like war driving going into a company and hack it from inside the house we have an ant esports mk mini keyboard which looks amazing with all the rgb i don't know why you have all these cards open here maybe it's a secret message that i don't understand maybe it's a code that's the desk of a real engineer as well everything is messy cards laying around some earpods over here at least the desk is more or less clean there is some one piece running over here and the boom mic so you can do a podcast that's something i see a lot of people having nowadays a boom mic and then we have of course a submission from our most favorite submitter submittee to this category which is none else than hashcat now i'm gonna blur this face because i don't know if that's a person um hashcat told the chat that this is one of their teachers so let's just blur the face the only thing that changed is that now hashcat has three monitors amazing and the monitor that the, that hashcat used is none else than this amazing gaming monitor by wish which costs a lot of money 625 swiss francs for a wish monitor i mean i'm not sure if the refresh rate etc is the same over here but this is a swiss retailer that offers it cheaper than wish which is kind of a rare thing now if you want to submit your hacking setup and let me take a look at it and be featured in a video make sure to check out the discord server link in the link collection down in the description below once you're there please select a role otherwise you will get automatically kicked once you close discord and make sure that you have a phone ready because you need to verify your account we don't want any spammers or bots or whatever in here then you can move on over to the desktop showcase and submit it in here now if you want to see more hacking setups and how i enjoy them or not you can check out this video over here where i take a look at other hacking setups from the community see you in the next one bye bye